Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Debt Repair video. In today's episode, we will be working on a M2 2023 edition, uh, model A2941 uh, in Starlight. Uh, this unit was mailed in to us for a LCD repair, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first step, of course, here is going to be removing the four pentalobe screws on the bottom case. So next we're going to flip it around so the LCD hinge point is in the back here. We're going to take a suction cup, stick it on, pull up right here towards the trackpad. Alright, so we're going to pull up on that suction cup. There we go. One more clip on this side to undo. Two more. And now we're going to push on our bottom, uh, sorry, top case here outwards and pull the bottom case towards ourselves. There we go. And that's the bottom case removed. You can go ahead and set that aside. So the very first step, once we actually are inside the unit, we're going to remove this little taped on cover. we're going to use a T3 screwdriver and remove the two screws holding this cover on. Pull that cover off. And then we're going to use our little spudger to disconnect the battery connection right here and bend it away. So keeping with that same T3 bit, we're going to remove this panel here, this panel here, this panel here, and this one. Gonna use our spudger to just pop these little panels off. Set those aside. And using our spudger one more time, we're gonna disconnect the right hand speaker assembly here. The Wi Fi assemblies, these ones are hard to get to. There we go. There we go. Uh, an LCD proximity sensor here. and then another speaker assembly on the left hand side. And using that same T3 bit, we're gonna remove the two screws on either side of the LCD hinge covers. And then pop the hinge covers themselves out of their locations. So switching to a T5 bit, we're gonna remove two screws holding in uh, the speaker assemblies and then the four holding in the Wi-Fi speaker assemblies. And switching to a T6 bit, now we're gonna release the two black screws that hold the speaker assembly as well as part of the logic board to the top case. All right, so now that those are loose, we can go ahead and pop these speaker assemblies out. There's our left one and our right one with the whole Wi-Fi assembly also coming out in that step. So switching back to a T3 bit, we're gonna go ahead and remove these bottom screws here, these silver ones. And don't forget under this black taped on piece, more screws. So peel this up. You see it? There is two more screws that were hidden under this little black taped off piece. So after we get those two out, we'll take this retention bar off. These this holds the LCD connections to the board here. So we're gonna go ahead and use our spudger to pop these off. And using that same T3 bit, we're gonna go ahead and remove the two black screws on either side at the top. All of those disconnected here. So switching to a T8 bit, now we're gonna remove the eight screws, four on each hinge location, that hold the LCD to the top case. So 
the last remaining step for everything in here is to disconnect this LCD proximity sensor. This is what senses uh, and tells the laptop when it's closed, opened, so it knows when to, when to turn off, when to turn off the screen, stuff like that. So we're gonna disconnect this guy. Make sure we peel it up. And now we just have to open the laptop. the old LCD removed. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off side to the side and grab our new one. So now that we've got our brand new LCD here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and all right so I'm gonna go ahead and move the top case just to the side here to prepare the LCD. So the first thing we're going to do is take a screwdriver, leave the cardboard on for this step just so you don't damage the screen. Just to open up these hinges here, I like to take a screwdriver and just pry it open a little bit. There we go. There we are. Now we can go ahead and remove the cardboard here. All right, so now that we've got the cardboard out, we're just going to bend these hinges all the way open like that. Take our top case and LCD, sorry. So leaving the cardboard on here for this step, what I like to do is take a screwdriver and open the hinges with it. It just makes it easier. It's pretty hard to get your fingers in there and open them when they're all the way down. Now we can throw away the cardboard here. We're gonna open them up just a little bit more. There we are. We're going to take our top case with our battery logic board, uh, this whole assembly here, line it up. first steps here we're gonna first connect this LCD proximity sensor again there we go once you hear it click in you are good to go and the next thing we're gonna do is line up this connector here with the two screw points uh, on the top LCD and down here uh, this can be pretty tough because the cable kind of has to bend a certain way before the screws will align similar to that right there. So we're gonna take our two black uh, T3 screws. All right, so the next step here is going to be connecting these connectors here, the LCD, the webcam, and the mic array, as well as align, aligning this LCD bracket with the respective uh, screw points in the bottom. It's important that you get these cables uh, kind of tucked in there so they line up right. And we're gonna take our T3 screwdriver and the two black T3 screws that we took out originally. So now we're just gonna plug in our mic array, our LCD and our webcam here. And we're gonna use a T8 screwdriver and screw in the eight screws that hold in the LCD assembly to the top case. You can do these in any order. I just like to start one on each side and then screw in one side. Okay, so the next step here is now gonna to be to install our speakers. in while I'm at it. Follow 
followed by our other speaker. Same thing, just gonna connect this wire while I am here. We're gonna go ahead and lay the Wi-Fi assembly in here as well. It does technically go under the speakers, but I like to connect the speakers first. So these little hinges on either side, the speakers do have to lift up and go on top of them. Like that. There we are. So now we're gonna connect the rest of the wires here. These are the hard ones, so getting the Wi-Fi bracket cables to line up can be difficult. So now that we have our speakers and our Wi-Fi assembly in, we're gonna take a T5 screwdriver and go ahead and tighten these in. Now these T5 screws double as the finger points that the bottom case grab onto. That's why they kind of have a little ring around them, uh, just so the fingers can actually click in there. We're gonna take the remaining T5 screws, the two that hold on the speaker assemblies on either side. Screw those in. Now we're going to switch to a T6 bit for the two black screws on the bottom sides here that hold the speakers as well as the logic board in place. And now we're going to install the hinge covers as well as the two T3 screws that hold them in. Now we're moving on to the last remaining brackets. Uh, the rest of these screws are gonna be T3. We're gonna start with the center screw here, sorry, the center bracket here, and the four T3 screws that go with it. Uh, next, we're gonna put in the cover for the left-hand speaker assembly. Like I said, the rest of these screws are going to be T3. And finally, we're gonna first plug in the battery and then secure it down using its respective bracket and T3 screws. So now we're gonna take our bottom case and these four fingers right here. We're gonna go with these four screws up here set it on it and push and the fingers will grab at the top like so using our pentalobe screwdriver you can tighten these in any order so after we've got it screwed in we're just gonna give it some clicks to push the uh, retention mechanisms in place and it's all set let's go ahead and turn it on make sure that new LCD is working and as you can see brand new LCD looks good thank you guys for watching Leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdep.com or click the link below for mail-in repairs. See you guys in the next video.